Hello class, um, my name is Teresa Castillo and today for my persuasive speech, my final speech for the class, I will be talking about texting and driving. Um, in reality, um, we all know of a story, of a situation, maybe personally, maybe, you know, directly, indirectly, we know of a story at least, and we've heard the stories of individuals, whole families, you know, everyone being killed by the effects of texting and driving or just cell phone use in general while driving, distractive driving, classifies under distractive driving. The reality is that it is a very sad thing that a lot of people are not just able to put their phone down um, for a few minutes while they are driving. And according to a website, the NHTSA.gov website, distractive driving um, claimed 3,142 lives in 2020. So just roughly two years ago. And the reality is that all of those deaths could have been avoided if people just put their phones down, you know, and weren't distracted by their phones by texting or, you know, calling. And when I say texting and driving, I do just mean cell phone usage, period, um, because it's just as distracting and it can still lead to, you know, to all of these things. Distractive driving, texting and driving, calling, you know, and driving has a lot of great harms and it is so negatively perceived even though we are all guilty of doing it. We are all guilty of, you know, sending that text message, even though like we're supposed to be completely focused on the road, you know, and the reality is that those stories that we hear of, it could happen to us, not just we be the person who is the one texting, but it could also happen to us where we are the person that loses their life because we did not do better to um, inform each other and to stop each other and be accountable to each other to stop, you know, this growing thing, this common thing. Um, there's so many personal accounts. Um, there is a video that I had seen a really long time ago, you know, of uh, a person, like a random woman that was texting and driving stopped um, was supposed to stop, at, you know, at a stop sign and did not and completely like T-boned a car and the family that was in the said vehicle in a van, you know, they lost their lives because of that. Um, she was, you know, severely injured and stuff, but she made it out alive. She was, she walked out, you know, with her life and in turn, like this family that was innocent and had really nothing to do with it lost they all lost their lives and stories like that should be enough to move us um stories like that are so common and so talked about like we see the commercials on the tv we see like the stories online you know the articles that say that it is a growing um, problem and we are still doing it um and i know that this is all information now, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the, just a, a few of the statistics that I had found online. Let me get to my thing. One out of every four car accidents in the United States is caused by texting and driving. And then this is um, an article by Edgar Snyder and Associates. It's a law firm. Um, so, you know, you know that it's real whenever a law firm is telling you like these facts just because it's such a big thing that people also, you know, make lawsuits against. Um, texting while driving is six times more likely to cause an accident than driving drunk. And that is sad to admit, but that is the reality. Um, texting while driving causes a 400% increase in time spent with eyes off the road. You are taking your eyes off the road, literally. 
um even if it's just for a second if it's for five seconds you are still sending that text message you are still you know scrolling through your phone um you're still looking at your social media even though all of those things can wait until you get to your destination and you know i wanted to talk about like not just throw this information out but i also wanted to talk about like what can be done so there are some tips and you know some things that we can do to help not only ourselves but to help each other because this is a not just you know a me problem or a but this is all of us that we have to do better and like for us to personally not do it but also to not allow people like if we are in the car with someone to not allow that to happen if we see it if we know of it that we are able to talk about it and it not be you know a bad thing that we talk about but a good thing because we are in turn saving those lives preventing all of those tragedies to happen so I want to talk about just um, a few of the tips, um, silence, you know, putting your phone on silent. We can be off of our phone for a few minutes, like it's not going to be the end of the world, you know. There's like the options on your phone, like now there's like driving mode or there's just a, like a do, do not disturb button. Um, just simply moving at it out of the way, like if you don't have it like right in front of you while you're driving, you're less likely to go ahead and look at it and then want to answer that text message right then and there. You can ask for, if you have a passenger, you can just ask them to, you know, give you directions to um, reply to said message. Um, then click, you know, them answering the phone call, things like that. Um, being an example to one another because, you know, there is no point in a person saying stop texting and driving if they're just gonna get in their car and then just do the, do it themselves, you know, but you also have to model it if you want others to do it too. You know, model it by not engaging in that harmful activity. And let me see. You can just turn off your phone's volume. Like if you don't hear like the dinging or like the notifications going off, you're less likely to look at it just because, you know, you're you're not going to be distracted with like the noise and like you know wanting having the urge to look at it um pulling over and then just stopping completely is a big thing too um if you need to input an address just do it right before you get on the actual road um or at the store you know in the parking lot or just pull over if it's something that's that important because the reality is that we are all guilty of like being on the phone and we're so deep in that conversation that we are not listening or i mean we're not paying attention to what is happening like right in front of us and one that might not be applicable to all of us but it can still be beneficial for everyone is that in those you know in the, that age range where young adults are learning how to drive or they are very like excited to get a learner's permit it is important that we talk about it like in the actual like driving courses or driving school in order for them to really understand that it is something that is very dangerous and not something that we should be, you know, it is a very harmful thing to be engaging in just because it does, it can like, we can lose lives because of it. You can like damage property because of it. You can hurt yourself because of it. You know, a lot of money is wasted. You can hurt your own body if, you know, if you're engaging in these things. And like the biggest reason to not do it is because you, you know, there's so many lives on the, on, on the road that, you know, there's no reason for you to engage in it and potentially like harm someone, you know, someone who's innocent, someone who has their own whole life and they're doing their own thing you know who are we to you know do that and then so i went on a big rant but in summary i just talked about the harms of texting and driving i gave a few statistics um i can include like the resources that i chose um just like for anybody's personal desire or wanting to look at that um, I did include like a personal account of a story that I heard um, rather recently in a video about um, 
you know, the women that, you know, killed the, the, the whole family in just like in a moment's notice just for, you know, texting. And also like, what can we do about it? And again, I just want to say that it's not just, you know, my job to do it. It's not just your job to do it, but it is all of our job to do it. And um, I think that when we are able to apply this and be an example, it will show to others, you know, what we need to do and how we can do better for such like a very tragic thing that a lot of us are engaging in. Thank you so much.